Oh, man. All right. So to preface this, to let every know, everyone know where I even stand before we get even think about getting close to also if you hear banging and hammering i apologize construction's going on in the household um anyway to know where i stand with stuff sony just needs to give the rights to spider-man to marvel at this point 100 that, percent. that's that's where i am sitting that's where i am standing i i already deliberated and saw some stuff on tiktok after the uh the episode and uh or after the movie, sorry, because I didn't watch anything going into this. So I looked and saw what people were saying, and it was kind of 50-50, weirdly enough. Hmm. Um, so we went and saw it, uh, Venom, The Last Dance. I completely haven't even said the name of the movie. Um, but good Lord, that was a movie that that's really all the praise i want to give it is that it was a movie um this is a spoiler field review as everything we do is welcome to the dead kings podcast this is our review of venom the last dance i'm sorry not only like just work has been kicking my butt but sitting through this movie just took it all out of me um i'm here with moose brady as always we're here to just talk about this film that we watched and i will give the reins primarily to brady because venom is his thing right um but i'll give my general consensus first and i'll let you open the floodgates um for me like i said sony just needs to give it up Sony, Sony, I don't know why they're holding on to to Spider Man and Venom so much, and everything comic book related. Sony just needs to get let go because they can't do anything with it. They don't. They can't. They're not making anything good with it. Like I know a lot of people now that it's nostalgic are like fans of Andrew Garfield's Spider Man, but still, like they even Morbius and what Blade. Is that is that Sony? Yeah, too? I think I think Blade is Sony. I was actually going to say the same thing. I was like, I'm pretty sure Blade is Sony. Blade is in limbo now. Like Morbius flopped. Craven that's coming out. Who's going to care? Like, what are you? All these people who need to be involved with Spider Man, minus like, you know, you they can, they're important and impactful because it's a part. They're part of Spider Man. Like. Oh my gosh! So we'll, I'll dive more into my opinions, but Brady, go ahead. Honestly, I'm I'm right there with you. Like this movie was just a movie. Like there were so many like continuity errors with the first film. There was a lot of issues, and I'm and you you can like even ask like Taylor. Like I'm normally the more optimistic one when it comes to reviewing films. I I give them their like I will try to be as optimistic as possible. But with this film, it was extremely hard to do to even be remotely optimistic for this film because there were just so many things wrong with it. Like, and I'm right there on hundred percent agreements with you. Like Sony, give it up. The, the, the gig is up at this point. You're purely holding onto these, these characters out of spite because you know, Disney's Disney and they own everything at this point, but it's not doing it any good. You're really just hurting yourselves and like, yeah, you're making money off of them, but I, I think it would be, have better value if it were in the hands of the ones that have been doing the superhero movies for the last little bit. Mm -hmm. Sorry, just yeah, it can't really much say much more than that. That it was, it was a film like, and this is like I said, me like I normally give credit where it's due, and like I'm more the optimistic, but this was just brutal. It was so we're gonna, we're kind of, I usually go beat by beat and it's kind of hard to to do this because it's been a while since like we reviewed a movie and i reviewed something last time was with acolyte but the movie doesn't the movie start with noel sending out his his buddies 
Is yeah, Noel, send, Noel sends out his little demon symbiote eating creatures and exactly. to find and the codex. Yes. So it's found out that Ven the all these symbiotes locked Noel away in this prison, took the codex, the thing that could free him, Venom gave it to Venom, and then they all dipped, hit Earth for safe haven, wanted to stay away from the bad people. And they all dipped out, right? Yep. Venom has the most important piece of this puzzle. Yep. Brady, do you want to explain what you told me in the on the on the ride back? The 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 error of this logic. So this is the part that's like one of the things that's like a continuity error with this film where when we meet Venom in the first movie, they're literally talking about how, like he talks about how he is basically like the runt the, of the litter. He's the weak link. He's the, the coward, the one that like all the other symbiotes look down on. And yet somehow he was trusted with the codex. How does that make any sense? Like you're talking about the weakest link was the one holding onto the codex is how they explained it. Is that, that he was trusted with it entrusted with it out of these symbiotes to, hold on to the codex and that just doesn't make sense it's not like he happened by chance on it it's not like all of a sudden oh yeah by the way i have this codex i snagged it no 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 it was literally entrusted upon him to keep this locked away and safe from null which is like this doesn't make any sense you're the runt you're the litter why would they give that to you not riot not scream not carnage not or any of these other symbiotes that have that have been in the previous films or the other ones that we saw, you know, sliming around out of the crater. Or, yeah, or any of the other ones in the movie. Like, exactly. Um, so, I just, I'm like, okay, like, how, you can't not be a Spider-Man slash Venom fan and not know about Null. Like, Null is a real one. Like, Null, yeah. Null is a real one. And so, excuse me. And so it's 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 just wild to me, and I'm gonna hit spoilers here already. Noel doesn't do anything in the movie, not a thing. N N Noel does absolutely nothing in the movie. There's no fight, no it, 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 nothing in the movie. Yep. <clears throat> anyway, so it then goes to the bar that Eddie is in that we saw him last in no way home the little end credit scene in no way home yeah the that little tiki bar little tiki bar that was the little cantina that was strictly fan service because marvel and sony were playing nice it is they literally just pull eddie's like i'm so sick of this multi or venom's like i'm so sick of this multiverse crap blah 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 and they get pulled through a portal back actually to now that you mention it think about that I'm so sick of this multiverse crap. They pull Venom. That it, it literally was a fan service. So I guess thanks Sony for that. Was like they were literally like, "Hey, we will let you cameo him, and that is it. And then we're taking him back." It's like here's a fan service, and and they only did that to get y'all's attention, so that or, or our attention, so that we would think that there was hope and maybe watch more Sony movies. All they did it for was to back themselves. It had no merit and no credit for anything but to boost Sony. Like, think about that. Yeah. That's Sony being garbage right there. And I'm going to say it. And I, I guarantee there's an assassin waiting outside my house next time I leave. But Sony is garbage. I'm going to say it right now. Well, and that, too, is like they, the, the depth that they put into that, that cameo appearance or whatever where Venom sees peter on the television and is like that guy and then licks the screen like as if we're gonna get spider-man versus venom finally but no like i'm so uh I, realistically if you like this movie i don't know if this is the video for you <laughs> but and um, yeah but it, it i'm gonna move on eddie gets out of the cantina after finding out he's still under He's still being, look, he's a fugitive that he's on the run, whatever. My problem that I have here is that, bro, the, la the last Venom movie came out three years ago. Right. I remember nothing from Let There Be Carnage. I don't. So there's this guy that apparently died that 
didn't die because spoilers again the this group was able to get his body and put a symbiote in it to make it heal him and so they could bond the two and the dude didn't die so that's why eddie's on the run and he comes across these dog fighting gangsters right Mm -hmm. and ends up killing them and I'm just tired, man. I'm I'm tired. It it it's almost like Venom just hasn't changed throughout the three movies. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, "What are you talking about? He has the character development." But like, Venom just keeps wanting to eat people's brains and wants to eat people and all this other stuff. Like, I get it. That's the shtick. This well, nuts- and let's talk about that for a second. Like, that is Venom. Venom is an anti-hero, and I think a lot of people forget that that Venom is an anti-hero and that he toes the fine line of hero and villain. And he, we all know that venom leans more toward the villain side. He's literally (laughs) one of Spider-Man's nemesis. Like venom and Spider-Man are literally Joker and Batman in a sense. Like they, that is, that is how close they are. And throughout these films, venom loses his teeth. Literally. Like he, he is supposed to be this aggressive, I don't care about this. I will bar like he meets in the middle with Eddie Brock about how he won't kill good people, but he is going to still eat and maul and demolish bad people or people he even sees as bad. And then throughout this film, instead of getting this strong, intimidating, edgy venom that we all know that that's what venom's favorite. Like that's why people like venom. He becomes this wannabe Deadpool. And loses his teeth. Well, and we'll we'll get a bit into that a little bit more. But I 100% agree with that. This whole fight scene was like, it was goofy to me. Because yes, they're freeing the dogs. Venom needs to eat. All that stuff. Okay, cool. But the fight really didn't do anything. Then show that that, that hellhound thingy-mabobber that's coming after Venom getting closer, right? Um, yeah, the hunter, the symbiote hunter. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, whatever. But the, the, these fights in this did little to nothing for me. It was just giant CG battles, and I'm like, there's, I get what I'm, I what I should expect going into a movie like Venom, where it's 90% CGI, right? But it's like the, I felt not there was no impact with anything. Mm-hmm. None, none of this stuff landed. None of the jokes landed. None of like. Eddie warning the guys, don't do this. This isn't what you want to do. I'm like, yes, we heard that for freaking two movies so far. We get it. You have Venom. You're going to beat the crap out of these bad guys who are pressing you. I get it. But I would much more rather Eddie already just be like, all right, let's go. Cool. Like, instead, like, these guys are dogfighting. They're killing animals. And instead of trying to reason with them, you should already be killing them. Yeah, that's the Venom we know. That's what Venom would do. There is no thinking. It's just reaction. And that's... That that to me... Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, that's the other issue that I have here is where the heck is the side effect of Venom symbiote? It was that it made people aggressive and more and more aggressive and angry and violent the more they had Venom. And Eddie's had Venom, like they said in a movie, for a year. Yeah. So well, where, is, where is the aggression and anger coming from Eddie? Now, maybe in the first movie, he was able to hone in on that. I can't remember. I haven't seen the first movie since it came out. But where is that? We've had so many different iterations of people being bonded with the symbiote. To me, the best one is Spider-Man 2, the video game. Mm-hmm. But where is that? Why is Eddie still like... Hey, we should be nice. We should be respectful. Da, da, da. You're dealing with these dog fighters, dude, who are mauling and maiming these dogs and abusing these dogs. Why are you not already symbioted up f- full form and killing these dudes? A hundred percent. Like you said, he was with him for a year. We still saw the same on edge, sweaty venom that had no, or, or Tom Hardy, Eddie Brock that had no control over venom, which is ridiculous. Like, no, like you've been with them for a year under some insane circumstances from the first and second movies. By now, you know how to control Venom, Venom, and you work together in a symbiotic relationship. See what I did there? 
symbiotic relationship. Yeah, it sh this should the way that they had Eddie and Venom in this film should have not been the way that Eddie and them should have been in this film. Like it just nothing was making sense, and that's that's where like it just was. It lost a lot for me throughout the film. To me, it would make more sense if they had Eddie, the goofy Venom that we saw was Eddie's perception because he had gotten so intertwined with Venom where he sees Venom as this great thing and this great being and voice, right? Mm -hmm. But on the outside, everybody sees Venom for the monster. But we'll get to the end. We'll get to the end. At the end, I'll, I'll bring this back up, so please remind me. But Sally Forthing, it's basically a chase at this point. This lady wakes up that we've never really been introduced to, and if we did, I don't remember I don't even know who she is. Again, if she's within the Marvel stuff already, I don't know. But she's a doctor lady who, as a kid, got electrocuted. The lightning went through her, didn't face her, hit her brother, killed her brother on the beach during a lightning storm. Um, She wakes up, and she's Area 51's being taken down, right? And... um she's going to work on the symbiote thing so they can understand the symbiote more and understand what's going on and see if they can't bond it with people who need uh need some sort of medication stuff or whatever it may be like right life-saving treatments and whatnot and she's just trying to understand the symbiote on a, on a greater level then you have it's like avatar you had sigourney weaver as the scientist wanting to be the nice person then you got the asshole soldier it's yeah, there you go. It, it's this guy who's trying to track down and kill the symbiotes because he thinks that they're disgusting and aliens and all this other stuff. Blah 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 blah. These characters. What did you think, Brady? So honestly, the whole doctor getting struck by lightning thing could have thrown that out. You honestly didn't even need that. And maybe like like I don't know who Doctor Payne is. Maybe they're important to the story somehow. I didn't feel like it was necessary or an importance when it comes to the the soldier guy yep get it there's some negativity there with the symbiotes and the aliens but when they're trying to track him down there's a lot of stuff that just i'm like what this doesn't make any sense yep. like the river scene we were talking we'll about that. We'll, get the... that. we'll get to that we'll get okay. to that we'll get okay 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 but honestly like the characters i didn't hate them i just feel like there were parts of it that like once again i don't remember was he in the previous film the soldier dude not that I remember, but he could be. And if he was, he was really forgettable. Yep. See, there you go. If it was forgettable, then you've already lost. Like, like a lot of Let There Be Carnage was kind of forgettable. And I feel like these Venom movies just tried to take on too much. Did you ever feel like they were trying to take on too much of a musical like thing with like, like Deadpool did with like, they were trying to make the songs funny. Yeah. But impactful? Yeah. And that's what this felt like in like throughout the last, you know, at least two films. I won't say the first one, I feel like, but at least these last two films for sure. And I feel like it was like, they're not rememberable. I'm not going to remember these songs. Like, I know these songs already before they were even this. Exactly. Um, And that's, again, these these characters just... I don't know, man. It's it's. I'm just tired, bro. I'm tired of going to theaters giving movies benefit the benefit of the doubt and then it just being what it's going to be anyway like yep this and was spending a, 30 dollars for like food and drinks and the tickets and it's like holy shit and I, I know a ton of people are like just sneak in snacks i like the theater experience i like going and buying a bucket of popcorn or some food or whatever it may be like i got off work brady got off work and we both were like hey dude we're gonna have an evening we're going to just go to a movie. Like when you go to the movies, you, you go to the movies. Right. Um, but I'm like, I'm just sick of these move these, these movies that are so simple to do that are so easy to just, especially with what they're dealing with, with a, such a small scope, this mm -hmm. movie. And again, we'll get to it at the end could have been just so simple to do with these, with this trilogy, but they didn't do it anyway. We get to the whole horse scene that everyone was freaking out about. And that was the main stay, main say of the trailers and the advertising and crap like that. What did you think about this, Brady? The horse looked cool. Seeing symbioted creatures and people are cool. Mm -hmm. Was like, you know, it's cool. 
That's about it. Oh, nice. Cool. A wink and a nod. That's it. Beyond that, it's it's nothing special to me. We already know that Venom can take over multiple like different creatures and animals. It was a comedy factor. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't very funny to me. Exactly. It wasn't. So this happens after the whole airplane thing. So essentially, uh, Venom or, uh, uh, oh my gosh, Eddie is saying, oh, of course I got the superhero, which I'm like, when the heck has Venom been a superhero? First of Never. all. He's like, of course, I got the superhero that can't fly. He's like, we will see or whatever it may be. And so then he goes and they attach to a freaking plane that's mm -hmm. 30,000 feet in the air. 31,000 31, feet in the air going over 700 miles an hour. Again, I get it's a comic book movie. It's dealing with aliens and crap. But Eddie's holding on to the plane with Ven by you know by Venom and it's not even Venom has his the 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 face on or whatever so Eddie can just be whatever he's like my mouth is so dry right now like the stupid jokes like that like I don't like this it's like of course you don't like this then the symbiote hunter thing is like because Venom goes full form and whenever Venom goes full form the uh codex becomes a tracker it, it and the symbiote hunters yeah the symbiote hunter knows exactly where Eddie is and ignores everything else and goes straight after straight after eddie or after venom and so that happens and they're kind of just having this weird to me the vibe i got was when it was jack versus salazar and on his ship when jack was just running away and not mm -hmm. fighting like it that's the vibe that i got where it's none of these have none of these were fights and we'll get to it venom just escapes goes non-full form because then he can't be tracked, but he can still use like appendages and pop out in certain forms. And then we get to the horse or whatever was that before. It doesn't really matter to me. But anyway, we do the whole symbiote horse thing, whatever. And that was stupid because he, it was like, like you said, Deadpool. When he puts the symbiote onto the horse, the freaking trendy song starts playing, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. as with the opening credits of deadpool you had um bye 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 play everybody loved that but yep. that's deadpool that's exactly what deadpool is like you can't like, expect any less than that like iron man like realistically with venom if you wanted to be real with venom when he does the horse first of all it should be a black horse that he's already putting the symbiote on but two it should be in a creepy setting in a shed or whatever after he just ate the horse owner's head, right? Yes. And then for whom the bell toll starts playing or something dark, right? Mm -hmm. And something crazy and this lightning and, and the horse, you know, rearing and all this stuff. It started playing Queen. And I'm like, this is not Venom, dude. This is not menacing or this is... For you, this is strictly uh, trailer B-roll. Anyway, Eddie takes off, goes to where he needs to go. I I didn't care. Even in the trailer, I didn't care for the symbiote horse for me. We came up when, when Venom was like, was that guy, right? Where Venom was, everyone was new of Venom, but very seldom people liked Venom. And everything was getting a symbiote version, like symbiote Wolverine, symbiote Optimus Prime, symbiote, symbiote freaking Deadpool, symbiote, all these other symbiote versions, symbiote Punisher, all these other symbiote variations. And now that we see it, it's like, yeah, but it's too little, too freaking late, dude. It's like Thor Ragnarok doing the whole screaming goats, not Thor Ragnarok, Thor Love and Thunder doing the screaming goats meme thing in the movie oh it, yeah yeah it's it's too little too late man that was a meme or something that was hot years ago mm -hmm. um anyway we're just gonna cut a bunch of the bull crap because a lot of it just <sighs> we get back to the base and the one guy from the other movie is bonded with the symbiote and the symbiote is trying to warn them that all the crap that's going to happen if null gets freed we get the backstory of the Codex, that Venom holds the Codex. They need Venom. They want to bring, the doctor ladies want to bring in Venom to, to keep Venom safe. 
The military guy wants to kill Venom so that they can't go after the Codex. They'll have no reason to go after the Codex. The Codex will be destroyed at that point. Null yeah. stuck. No stuck. He wasn't wrong. <laughs> like, he wasn't wrong. Anyway, Eddie meets up with this family. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll let you take I'll let you take the rest of the podcast from here. You can go ahead. So they meet up with this this hippie family and this hippie family like the dad believes in aliens and they're legitimately hippies. They named their son Leaf and their daughter Echo and then I forgot what he called the mom Moon or something. I can't remember. Moon, moon Love or something like I don't remember. Anyway, they meet up with them. Uh they catch a ride and they we there's a point during this where um the military guy goes after venom to kill him and they use these guns that shoot sound waves separate symbiote from um eddie venom from eddie and they fall into a river they're being chased and eddie is swimming he jumps from a fish to another fish and then uh, eddie has to kill one of the people chasing him what's super weird and doesn't make any sense during this scene is that they put eddie or they put venom in a net not a sound net, not a shock net, nothing crazy, just a freaking net. And you're telling me that that trapped symbiote venom. No, no way. Like he would have just slithered through in between the threads or whatever. Like this, we're not talking, we're talking like a fish net. Like I literally could have fit two fingers in each hole of the net. Like he would have escaped. There's no questions if ands or buts. Super stupid. Mm hmm. And then, like you said, once again, we're hitting the animals. He jumps from a fish to a frog to a this and a that. And it's it's just really stupid, honestly. They anyway, were doing now, it. Sorry, sorry to jump in, but they yeah. were doing it just to do it and show you what it looked like. It was it had nothing to do with anything. No, yeah. It, it, it didn't progress anything. Because yes, Venom's chasing Eddie trying to get back with him, but it did nothing it, it just was to show you hey look this is what a fish looks like as it's venomized this is what a frog looks like like who cares anyway yeah 100 percent. well and and so anyway so then he meets up with this hippie family they give him a, a <laughs> lift to vegas and then that's when we run into mrs chen so hold on and we gotta we gotta we gotta rewind a little bit because we forgot about the fight because the the symbiote hunter shows up oh that's right and yeah. And starts eating the the guards, the the soldiers, and like wood chipping them out the back of its head. Oh yeah, I thought I will say that was cool. Yes, that yes. was that was crazy. That was unbelievable. Like holy crap! Literally shoots it out the back of its. It's like if I was this hat right here, my little head fin here was like underneath of it, like shredded whatever it ate, just shot out the back. Like crazy Ugh. oh so we kind of got to touch on the family a little bit more and talk about like they were more like the the appease to eddie's morality he saw what he wanted that he what he wished he could have had which was yeah they were hippies they were weird but they were also a family that loved each other mm -hmm. um and it like the little the son you know they're they're singing uh uh a song in the car together and like I thought at first I was like, I don't like this, but then I'm like, okay, it's funny. It's funny. It's, it, it, it's, it's catching me. Right. Just the family. And it, they were obviously there to be that person in peril. That's oh, all. That's all. Yep. That's all it was. Um, but they then, cause Eddie, again, Eddie's trying to get to New York so he can get away and not be, Go under People the radar. Go go under the radar to get to New York. I'm sure they were doing that to be like, oh, Spider Man, Spider Man's in New York. <laughs> like he's trying to go from Mexico to New York. Like, come on. Um, but anyway, yeah. So they end up dropping him off in Vegas, and that's when they run into Mrs. Chen. Now, again, some more of the Eddie Venom crap was Eddie tried to get into a, a hotel. They said no, dress code. Venom headbutts a guy. They knock him out. He headbutts it or knocks out another guy, takes his clothes, is looking Sean Connery. And Eddie's like, or Venom's like, Eddie, baby, looking spiffy, all this other stuff, hyping Eddie up. And to me, I again, these these are the comments I saw online where everyone's like, oh, I love how Venom is 
is this way now and has more personality and this and that. Da, 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 da. I'm like, this is just the memeable shit. You aren't posting any of the other movies or com- or any of the other movie or commenting on any of the other stuff. This is the memeable stuff, the stuff that's going to make you laugh. Venom's not supposed to make you fucking laugh. Like, yes, in the Spider-Man PS1 game that I loved, Venom had his funny moments, but he also, like, it was a different time period with Venom. It was, it was, Spider-Man had been Spider-Man for a long time. Eddie has only been with Venom for a year. Like, anyway, I'm like, this comedic relief Venom is not doing it for me. It's, oh, it, it, it's not it is not i'm not behind it at all and I, if you liked it you liked it good for you i couldn't stand that stuff like you call me an edgelord for wanting original angry violent venom but carnage did a better job at being venom than fecking venom 100 percent. yep um anyway so yeah we get to the casino the casino, and it's like what Brady said earlier, that Eddie has like still does not have control of Venom, which realistically he shouldn't. But it's still if they want to say that they found a middle ground, why is Venom still spending all of Eddie's money to go to go um, gambling and earlier in the movie to make a freaking uh, a pina colada or whatever he made? Mm-hmm. Like why is Eddie just, Eddie just like all right, whatever, do whatever you want, Venom. Okay, spend all my money. We have no money, and then they run into Mrs. Chen. All she did in this movie was be the reason that Venom went full form so that the hunter, the symbiote hunter, could find him. Yep. That's the only reason they put her in. Because apparently she got some big payout from something. She's in this suite and she wanted to start dancing with Venom because she obviously knows about Venom. I do like that dynamic that she knows about Venom and isn't freaked out. Um, Take it away, Brady. From the whole yeah. dancing thing, your opinions. They do this whole dancing thing, which was absolutely stupid. Like, it's just like they didn't need to do it. They just wanted to do it. They threw it in there because the last dance. And it's like, that's the only reason they do it. Once again, it's just a <laughs> we, we <sighs> nod, nod to the title. And it's like, no, no, we didn't need that. And once again, the hunter, the hunter finds them, attacks them. They, he goes unfull form. And as soon as the hunter leaves, the SWAT team or the the attack team shows up and subdues um, and separates Venom and uh, Eddie, which also was like huge continuity errors where it says when he goes full form, they can track him. But when he is his symbiote and he was separated from Eddie, the hunter couldn't track him then. Which didn't make any sense because that's still his true form. That is full form when he's a slimy symbiote. The only time that we're talking true form, are you talking about when he actually fully envelops his host? Because that's still, they didn't specify that. So it didn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, And then that's when Eddie and them end up at the area, former area 51, now area 55. Yeah. Yep. What was your, what was your th- thoughts on the dance? The dance was dumb. That's what I'm saying. Like it was dumb. It was, it was pointless. We didn't need it. Like it was so dumb when he lifts Mrs. Chen up and they're doing the tapping on the toes. Like Venom is not twinkle toes. He's a menacing <laughs> freaking animal. He is like, I'm yeah. sorry if you guys like, if you guys love this Venom, Taylor and I are not here to, to crap talk on you. We are crap talking on this film. It is not what we see Venom as. This is not, like what venom is to me and so the whole scene to me was really freaking stupid like venom of all people too in the film was the most adamant about not going full form yet he's the one that decides to go full form like it's not like he was drunk either it's not like there was any drinking it was just like yeah i just want to like literally they could have had it this way that venom and eddie both don't want to go full form but mrs chen is pushing and pushing and pushing and they get pissed and go full form Mm-hmm. They there didn't need to be this like there didn't need to be this dance mm-hmm. like good god and also the last dance can can, can uh, uh, also be taken as the last fight yeah exactly one hundred percent this was literally the last dance anyway they get separated and Eddie's in the hospital or in area fifty five he wakes up 
the the military dude behind the scenes was like, I'm taking over this operation, blah, 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 blah. Exposition, exposition, I want to kill Eddie, blah, blah, blah. Ends up fecking off, showing up. The one dude who used to be, who was in the other movie, who's now taken over by a green symbiote, shows up. Well, it cuts to one of the one of the girls looking at Venom in this little vat now. Because Venom has been taken away. cell or whatever, yeah. Yeah, well, the girl just took Venom because she didn't like this. She didn't like what was going on. But th- she did it off screen. Mm-hmm. Well, they're having this big brouhaha back and forth, and the guy's like, I'm taking over this stuff, blah, 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 because Eddie killed one of my men. And I'm like, valid, but also, why aren't you going after that freaking symbiote hunter that killed? First, he said, I lost three men. No, you lost six, dude. Yeah, you lost an entire team. Try again. But so he's after Eddie because Eddie killed one of the people. And um, turns a gun on him, turns a gun on him, straight up shoots Eddie. Well, the girl catches Eddie with Venom, gives Venom back to Eddie. And then Venom's like, bad, bad move. Boom, goes to fight the dude. But the symbiote hunter shows the heck up because the symbiote hunter was tracking venom from las vegas to or from from vegas to area 50 freaking five Mm -hmm. but didn't attack the chopper that he was on nope like he did with the helicopter and the airplane and the airplane so (laughs) so it's like the continuity errors are real in this i'm telling you like it makes no sense anyway it shows up Big fight going on. The green symbiote busts out of the freaking glass, which just shows they could have broke. He could have broke out whenever he wanted to, but he wanted, they just, he was peaceful. And I'm like, okay, cool. He's fighting and Venom's running away, trying to get out of there. And I'm like, realistically, what's their plan? Where are they going to go that they're, that they're not going to be hunted, hunted. They can't, obviously they can't kill this thing. That's where I'm like, these things just don't die. How are they going to ha- kill Null? Is Null going to be the new MCU big bad guy? Like, what are they doing? Mm-hmm. I would hope that Null will be the next big bad guy. But ugh. anyway, they get to the fight. Then all these symbiotes start attaching to people that are in danger and start helping out in the fight. Your thoughts? So this was a missed opportunity hugely by Sony. Um, We talked about our our options for how this film could have played out. Mm. But like there are other symbiotes that are comic book accurate that we have seen references to in let there be carnage scream Mm -hmm. is one of them. We know about anti-venom toxin. Um, there, there's several others that we know about are existent. There's videos, there's pictures of them, what have you, right? Missed opportunity. But the, the, the symbiotes were cool. I there was one symbiote that was really cool. He was fire, but then I started to notice something now that I think about it. They were a lot of them took on elements. Yeah. And I don't know that I like that. We have enough Hmm. elemental things out there that are like, oh, look, he can use fire ability and wind and lightning and all this. I think that was going a little too far with it. I'm not saying that it's not something they could have done. But I I don't like that each like even the the darker brown, like tan one that I thought was going to be anti venom was just like really big almost like a thing reference where he mm. was brown but he had like big arms and like could throw fists and stuff like he that was like rock. it was, it was yeah, rock. rock and i did i now that i think about it i really didn't like that hmm. okay but it was cool to see other symbiotes it just sucks that it took till the third movie final act to even show them yeah uh, i thought i actually thoroughly enjoyed this part i i i didn't know if if these symbiotes are actually in the comments comics and stuff okay but i i thought i thought it was cool to see them now i wish they would have been able to all fight and kill the sim the symbiote hunters but it is what it is i'm not i'm not i'm not pissed off about it right well the area 51 area 55 the family shows up Yep, because they were the dad was like a huge alien nut and wanted to go see Area 51 because the base is closing down. So he's hoping to go there and see a glimpse of an alien or something. 
Yeah, and he shows up, and we have to rewind this a little bit. So I'm going to jump forward. Uh, this little son that they have is doesn't want to see aliens because they're scary to him. Mm-hmm. And um, the dad is just really hell-bent on seeing these aliens. They show up. There's a cut in the fence. They go through the fence and go on to some, uh, like, a search tower or whatever. Old guard dad, tower, yeah. Old guard tower. And the dad's like, no aliens here. Man, this is this is rough. Then all the aliens bust out of the wall, and they're all fighting each other. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, alien invasion, man. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Like I thought that his humor with him was funny and it hit for, but it had nothing to do with him talking or interacting with Venom. Yeah. It was about the situation that's happening right in front of him. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, they're all fighting, blah, blah, blah. This is just a generic, a generic CGI fight to me. Like, I'm just exhausted talking about it. Like it's, do you want to take the reins on it? So basically, yeah, I can nail it. It's just like basically these they start fighting. Um, at some point or another, uh, the the army dude that's been after all the symbiotes pulls out a rocket launcher, shoots it, kills one of the symbiotes that was trying to help kill the hunters. Because at this point now, there's like six different hunters. And oh yeah, it, yeah, it, sorry, yeah, you have to talk about Noel sending more of them. Yeah, so well, the the one hunter sends out like an echolocation thing. It gives away its location, so then the rest of them all teleport to that location. Mm-hmm. So a bunch of them are there. The military's fighting them. The symbiotes are fighting okay. them, and the dude fires this rocket launcher to hit one. It hits one, kills it. I think if I remember right, that's how they kill the very first one, the and it launcher. kills one of the symbiotes. Yes. Yeah. And then it hits the guard tower. The guard tower falls over. This whole hippie family that's like alien hunters, essentially, is falling off. And it's like Taylor said, they were they were just there for the 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 people in distress that Venom has to save. And Venom, he shows up to that guard tower a little earlier while he's running away to tell the kid like, hey, these these aliens are here to help us. The symbiotes don't be afraid of them. And he introduces the kid to Venom comes out of his shoulder. And the kid's like, oh, okay. And that's when they all start following, falling. And then the twins symbiote saves, helps save the family with Venom. They save the family later throughout this fight. Like Taylor said, it's just kind of a, a, a typical, a, we're going to throw this in there for the action and the adventure of the film. And they throw in, you know, the mini guns are chasing them with the side by sides. And, you know, they, uh, they're doing all these different things. And it's just kind of like an uh, like a crazy like the symbiotes are getting eaten and shredded by all these hunters down till it's the final two, which is the lady symbiote venom and uh, the family gets saved. The hippie dad shoots a rocket launcher at one of them and one of the aliens and kills uh, kills one of the, the hunters. And it's just like, yeah, it's kind of like an exhausting fight, like they lead them somehow. He leads them perfectly to an ammo cache. And they blow yeah. him up. One of the hunters that gets blown up survives and jumps at this helicopter that was shooting at it, brings it down. And I guess we just get to this point where like Venom can't win because all the other symbiotes are dead. Except him. Right. And then I don't even remember how the female one died. Or uh, the female one died because they got separated, and then one of the hunters grabbed the symbiote and ate it. Right, the, it separates from the echo, yeah. the echo location thing. Got it separated, and then yes, he grabbed her and ate it. And, then and it sounds like we're speaking gibberish right now, but like that's what the fight felt like was gibberish. That's and what it was. Like it really was. Like it was just like they were just knocking things out to knock it out. It was. It was almost like the extra symbiotes were also a fan service. Like, hey, look, more symbiotes, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, they uh, they all get... Venom's the last one. They all get killed. Um, surprise, and surprise. It, yep, and it comes down to this just, like, scene where, it, I, to me, it felt like a Black Hawk Down reference because they were in this helicopter that was on fire being surrounded closer and closer by the hunters. And they're like, this is it, man. This is the last ride. This is, this is where the last dance where it ends. Like, they didn't, once again, need to have that dance scene. They venom, they start walking out of the helicopter with their arms out, like, come on, come get me, come get me. 
and Venom grabs all of them when they're at a certain point, you know, using all of his tentacles and stuff and pulls them over to this acid chamber tube area. Now, let me jump in real quick. Yeah. I thought about this when I was booting everything up. Why the heck didn't the twins one just do that? The twins can engulf people. Why do I think twins they twins one? Well, no, but why did they do that earlier? Oh, I don't know. Like, like that was like, oh, well, we're going to just like essentially those things were trying to escape and it could engulf multiple symbiotes. So why didn't three symbiotes just engulf the, the symbiote hunters and take them to the acid and sacrifice itself? Yes. That meant Noel would have kept coming after, after venom and all that other stuff. But I'm like, there were plenty of times where that could have happened. Oh, but, 100%. but still I get venom had to have a sacrifice. Now at some point, the army dude now understands that the symbiotes are on their side and he gets stabbed through the gut by one of the freaking hunters. Yeah. And he, and I'm telling you, this sounds like crazy. Like, wait, what, what, what? I'm telling you, this is what the fight was. This is, it was just utter chaos, right? There were so many people getting stabbed and killed. It was insane. It was like literally just a fight to have a fight. And earlier in the movie, sorry to cut you off. No, go ahead. Earlier in the movie, the, when the, the soldier guy first shows up, his name's Rex. He shows up to the area 55 and he uses his eye scanner and says his name and they're getting rid of ordinance and other stuff and they're using acid to do so. So that's what Venom was going to do was have him just do that so they could melt them and the symbiotes all down. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, realistically, it's time to die. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's just cut there. It's just it's yeah. time to die. Eddie Venom throws Eddie gets Eddie far away from all the crap from the explosion everything that's going to happen he says his goodbye Eddie says his goodbye you know the the cap military guy fucking dies the acid's pouring everywhere Venom's pulling pipes to drench himself in more acid to melt them all down and to start an explosion destroy the codex yep. destroy the codex and um the lady who got shocked, the one doctor lady who got shocked as a child, had this one purple and sparkly symbiote. Shocker, no pun intended, it's a lightning speed symbiote. And she cracks the thing, lets the symbiote go on to her, and she sprints to save one of the other doctors. The other doctor lady grabs her and sprints away, and she's like looking at her arm and it's starting to sparkle and the symbiote goes inside her and it's I'm like surprised you saw you knew that the second you saw that her pick up the symbiote mm -hmm. um venom blows up and is dead and there was a couple of sad parts like when Eddie woke up again he keeps calling for venom he's like hey buddy I had the weirdest dream buddy and he kept he kept saying it and the general yeah. guy yeah so Eddie passed out woke up in the hospital, the general says, thank you for your service. You are basically expunged of everything, but don't tell anyone or you'll be back in prison. Eddie goes on a little walk. They still throw these stupid B-roll things from previous movies as if Eddie and Venom had great moments together. And it was like memorable. And I'm like, whatever, man. I felt nothing up until he goes to <coughs> the Statue of Liberty. And he's basically like, you made it, Venom. You made it. That's when I was like, oh, my gosh. Can we just end this? You're rid of this parasite yeah. that should be messing up your life and your mind. Yep. Like, that's that's what it is. Do not call us a parasite. Yes. Next thing I'm going to say uh, with the voice thing, cannot stand this voice. It's gotten worse every single movie. I agree. Only when he sounds angry. Because the whole, oh, shit. Rah, 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 like, talk, I'm like, stop. Stop that. That's annoying. That's not Venom. Yep. Anyway, I have to agree with you. I had to cowboy that one. I had to pull I had to pull rank on you, Brady. Yeah, please. Um, it's But all right, let's get to final verdicts. Brady, go ahead. I'm I'm not even giving this oh, This is a zero, man. I wouldn't rewatch this film. Really? Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Like, I'm not trying to be a hater here. I'm not doing it cuz it's edgy. I literally did not enjoy this film. There were several times I like just would like, and Taylor's in agreement with me. I know at some points, but like we could have just walked out and been fine. Yep. Yep. 
My... So I'm like zero out of five, zero out of ten, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, we'll do out of ten, zero out of ten. For me, I said this in the theater. If we don't at least see Noel get up from the chair or see Noel fight, I'm giving this a zero. And Noel did nothing. Noel sat there like this the whole time with with his head down, holding the sword, was locked away the whole time, didn't do anything. So this gets a zero. It's a movie. There were some funny point parts. It was cool to see the symbiotes all working together in different symbiotes. And again, if you've played Spider-Man two that game i'm not spoiling anything because brady needs to play it but this is like exact opposite of what symbiote should be now again i hate the whole narrative of let's make the bad guy relatable and and let's no stop it let this is an alien goo that makes you angry and wants to kill everything and take over the world and start its own world on earth J just do that yep anyway i'm giving it a zero out of ten Hopefully this is the last one with Tom Hardy. I've had it. I I have had it. Brady, have you had it? I've had it. I'm done. I'm over it. Like and and Taylor and I are in agreement with this too. We don't hate Tom Hardy. We just hate Venom hate and Tom Hardy. Yep. That's it. Uh. Better luck next time. Hopefully, Sony does the smart thing and gives the rights to Marvel and just is like, yeah, we, we're taking the L. We can't do anything good. I I hope, I God, hope, I that, hope that Craven bombs so they learn their lesson because nothing has done well other than Deadpool for Sony. They don't even own Deadpool, own Deadpool anymore. Anyway, yeah, that'll do it for this one. I hate being negative, but it is what it is. See you all on the next one.